All right, so what is a string? A brief description is a uh, series of characters arranged and connected in a line. You define a string by putting the series of characters inside two quotation marks. So technically, this would be a string. Hello world. Now we still haven't assigned that to anything yet, so we're gonna get to that in just a sec. When do we use strings? We use strings whenever we want to store something like a name or a path to a file. We use them quite often. How do we use strings? Well, you can do a lot of things with strings. In this example, we'll go over string concatenation, get a substring, and also go over the contains method. So let's start. If you've seen my videos on variables, then you should already know how to create a string. You do so by defining the data type string, label it, initialize a value to it. So let's go ahead and create three strings and play around with them. So the first one will be username, so string. Oh, string. I can't even spell string username equals uh, ogre and uh, let's do the second one let's string realm equals let's say outland and the third one will be description so string description let's give this uh, ogre a quick description a danger dangerous ogre from the server outland Perfect. And let's start with concatenating all of this. So let's create a fourth string and let's name this um, string concat equals username, just a plus sign, realm plus description. Now, if we were to uh, console write line concat, just to console read key. If we were to print that out, we would get ogre outland, a dangerous ogre from the server outland. As you can see, it's there's no spaces in between, which makes it look really ugly. So you could either define it here, which would not be a very good thing to do. Let's actually do another plus sign right there. And inside here, we would define a space. So let's do this for all of them like so and that looks good to me yay ogre outland a dangerous ogre from the server outland perfect now now that we've done that we can get a substring let's get a substring from this entire thing so if i do uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave that there and we're gonna do string substring equals concat dot substring which is a method or it's a function that we can call upon our string and we want to get the substring starting from the first character which is index base so zero to let's say seven now if we were to print out substring we would get seven characters in so ogre outland and yeah let okay let's actually print this out so it makes more sense it looks like it makes more sense at least as you can see it prints out the first seven characters including the space of one two three four five six seven yep perfect and that's how you use the concat or i mean that's how you use the concat and substring now let's try to find something in the string so if we create a let's do a, let's do a bool found it equal concat dot contains let's see let's uh, let's put some random word in here like waterfall it's gonna try to find waterfall in uh, the entire substring or i mean the concat so if we were to console write line found it it's going to since a bool is either a true or a false it's gonna print out true or false depending on whether it found it or not as we can see right here it's gonna print out false because there is no waterfall in any of this. So, false. Now, if we put a word that's inside here, let's say ogre, as we can find ogre in this concat string that contains all of it, it's going to print out true. And that's it for this episode. Now, the assignment, I want you to create a console application that prints out love learning from the string I love learning. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.